And here's the second part of the game as a tutorial, in which I'm going to retopo the stylized rock using 3D code. Ok, I sculpted this rock in Blender 2.8 and I will export this high poly mesh as OBJ so that we can import it into 3D code for the so called auto retopology. So I switch to object mode and select the model and then I go to File, Export, OBJ. I export the selected object only and we don't need to triangulate or include the UVs, I just press Export, OBJ. This process takes some time, I speed up the video, here we go and then we continue with 3D code. In the startup menu of 3D code there is an option to perform retopology, I will select it and then you can select this point to perform an auto retopology. This means we are going to import our high poly mesh that we exported, here it is the rock underscore hp.obj and auto retopology means that there is an algorithm implemented that tries to create a low poly mesh on top of this high poly mesh. Now the high poly mesh is imported and then we can decide how many polygons for the retopo mesh are required. I set it to a relatively low number of polygons, I set it to 600. But this doesn't mean that the model will have 600 polygons. This is just a minimum, but the auto retopo will try to keep the poly count as low as possible. I keep all the settings as they are, but I check hard surface retopology so that the sharp edges will be recognized. Let's try. Again, this takes a while and after that we come to a dialog where we could paint some areas onto the mesh where we need more density, but I skip this, I want to see the result with the default settings and the same here for this one where you could draw strokes onto the mesh to define the edge flow. But again I press next to see what auto retopo can do for us without any inputs. And now it is finished and here we can see the low poly retoport mesh. So it looks pretty good, we didn't do anything, just pressing buttons and it seems to be a really good result. But here's something strange going on with the edges, some polys are overlapping but you can change this, I would say we just delete some edges and then we add them again. Ok, this looks better. I think I'm also going to delete this one and now we'll add some new edges. Ok, that looks good. The rest of the topology seems to be alright. What you can also do to adjust the topology is to select this brush and then you can move around some vertices and kind of relax the topology where it is needed. Ok, the next step is to mark the seams to UV unwrap the mesh. But again, I don't want to do this manually, there's a feature called auto seams and this is the suggestion for my UV islands. But we can do better than that, so with mark seams selected I press ctrl to remove the seams, just click the seams that I don't want, also for this small island here. And here the last one just press ctrl key and click onto the seams to remove them. Ok, that's it, of course it's not perfect, but it looks really good for just an automatic retopology, so I press unwrap and here we can see the UV map. To optimize the UV map you can press pack UVs so that the islands use as much room as possible on the map and now we have a finished retopoed mesh that we can export now, just go to file, export retopo object and I will name this rock underscore LP for rock low poly. If you like we can go back to the high poly mesh in Blender now, to the project in which we sculpted the rock and now we can import the low poly mesh in object mode. So go to file import obj and select my low poly mesh. Ok, here we go, I move it a bit to the right because it has the same position now as the high poly mesh. Here you can see it in edit mode and now I open a UV image editor so that you can see the UV map. Ok, here it is, just the same as in 3D code. 
If you have any questions, please add them to the comments below. In the next part, I'm going to texture this model with a stylized material. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to not miss the next tutorial. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for your support if you support me on my Patreon and I'll see you in the next one.